What's up everyone, Landon with Late Model Restoration. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to replace your tailgate decal on a 1993 to 1994 SVT light. Now, whether the factory decal on your truck is faded, peeling, or it's completely missing, this replacement decal is the solution to your problem. The factory decals from Ford have been discontinued for quite some time now. Our decal is a very, and I mean very close replica to that of the factory decal. This tailgate decal will feature the similar reflective metallic blue font and a white reflective lightning bolt that is silvered during the day and then appears white when the lights hit it at night. Now before you start the installation process, be sure you have a few supplies on hand. For those of you replacing a damaged factory decal, have on hand a heat gun, adhesive remover, some waterless wash, and some high quality microfiber towels. For the trucks that already have a missing decal, a waterless wash solution, adhesive remover, and high quality microfiber should do the trick. You'll also want to grab some low tack painters tape, a tape measure, pencil, a squeegee, and application solution. Before beginning, make sure the surrounding area is clean and free of any contaminants. Once clean, wipe the area down with adhesive remover to further strip any remaining residues. Now wipe down the area with the diluted alcohol mixture to expose a squeaky clean surface. Wipe in straight lines and be sure not to apply too much pressure. Go ahead and tear four small pieces of painter's tape. Measure two inches from the edge of the tailgate. Place a piece of tape and then mark the corner if necessary, designating where the measurement took place. Measure a half inch up from the body line. Again, place a piece of tape and mark the corner if necessary, designating where that measurement took place. Approximately six inches from that mark, measure a half inch again and place another piece of tape. Approximately six inches from the original mark, measure two inches again and place another piece of tape. Now, tear a long piece of tape and intersect the two smaller pieces to form a nice clean tape line. Tear a long piece of tape and intersect the two smaller pieces, again, to form a nice clean tape line. Once all the taping is finished up, give the area a quick once over with the alcohol solution. Spread the decal with a squeegee to ensure that it adheres to the transfer paper. Carefully peel away the decal from the backing paper and then give it a couple spritz with the application solution. Spray a thin layer of solution onto the paintwork as well. Align the edge of the lightning bolt with the vertical tape line. Align the bottom of the lightning bolt with the horizontal tape line. Lightly squeegee out any trap solution. Let the decal sit for 30 minutes to an hour. Carefully remove the transfer paper and blot any remaining solution. Very important that you do not wipe the area. Remove the painter's tape. Squeegee any remaining air pockets from the decal and let the decal completely dry before driving your lightning. After that, you're all finished. Now like any decal install and really every install for that matter, be sure and take your time and don't rush anything. I would honestly bet on about 30 minutes to get this one done. To see more restoration videos for your first gen lighting, be sure and hit that subscribe button. This tailgate decal is currently available for your 93 to 94 SVT lighting from the only lighting enthusiasts, LMR.com.